Everybody knows Lamborghini, one of the most famous supercar companies in the world. A lot of people believe that the first supercar was made by Lamborghini. Lamborghini Mira that came out in the 1960s. Some say no, Ferrari is older. But experts beg to differ because Lamborghini was the first car to put a V12 in the middle of the car and sell it to the public. It is true that other companies did this before, but they only made one and it was made for racing, but Lamborghini sold it to regular people. After the first V12 Lamborghini, the Mira, the second generation came out and that's the Countach. After the Countach, Diablo came out. All the ones we're mentioning is the V12 lineup. Everybody knows the next one, the Murcielago. The next V12, you could say everybody knows about because it's one of the most famous supercars in the world, the Aventador. Lamborghini produced this car for more than 10 years and a lot of people believe it's the most successful Lamborghini in history. But eventually, everything good must come to an end and the Aventador was finally finished. But Lamborghini doesn't have any plan on ditching the V12 and this time, they have came out with the Lamborghini Revuelto. A lot of Lamborghini fans were not stoked hearing about this new car and most of them say that a V12 Lamborghini should have no help and it should be a pure V12. And what we mean is that it should be naturally aspirated, not hybrid. This was said by Lamborghini fans and that is why with this video, Lamborghini wants to show how they put this car together. For this, we have to go to the Lamborghini factory in Santa Agata, Bolognese. Just like every car manufacturer, designing the car is the first thing on the list. Designing this vehicle took years and tens of people worked on it. When the design is finished, the higher ups have to approve the design. After the design is approved, it has to be handed to the engineers so they can start running some tests and they have to see what they can do to make it better or if it's gonna work or not. The engineers have to calculate everything and they have to see if it's going to be legal in the certain cars they want to sell it and this is the hardest part about designing a car. Like for example in the US there is a rule that the headlight could be no lower than 22 inches and if it's lower the car cannot be plated or plenty of other rules that we don't have time to talk about. But the Lamborghini engineers are forced to know these rules so they can design the car without making the car look terrible and ruining its performance. After the design is finished and the engineers approve it, they do the same thing with the interior design and that has its own set of rules they have to follow. And after this, it's ready to be built. The first stage is the press for the carbon fiber. And yes, the entire body of the Revuelto is made with carbon fiber. After the main cockpit or chassis is made with carbon fiber, different engineers and technicians have to lay carbon fiber with their hand. They add different parts with carbon fiber and run wires and pipes through them. While this is taking place, in the next door, they're building the engine. Lamborghini doesn't really show the process of them building their V12 for the new Revuelto, but it does show us how it's laid out in the car. 
we have an electric e-motor in the back with the v12 engine and we have another electric motor on the front axle and in the center of the car we have the batteries The engine of this car is a 6.5 liter V12 that produces 815 horsepower. This monster can rev up to 9,250 RPM, and for a 6.5 liter V12, that's insane. <laughs> These two electric motors add 170 horsepower to this V12 and when you add up the horsepower, they near 1000 horsepower. What you're seeing is the transmission that's connected to the rear e-motor. The transmission is an 8-speed dual clutch automatic and this causes the main power to be in the rear wheel. The V12, with the help of that e-motor connected to the transmission, pushes this car forward, and the e-motor in the front axle drags it, and this causes it to have amazing performance and grip. When all the e-motors and V12 and gearboxes are finished, they go to the factory to be assembled inside the Lamborghini. Now we have to put the body panels on. The body panels are also made with carbon fiber and they've been painted in a different facility and they've been shipped here. So the workers and technicians here just attach it to the cockpit they already built. All the packages, paints and different looks is choosed by the buyer. What's the interior? What type of color you want? What type of wheels you want? What kind of bumpers and spoilers? All this is chosen by the buyer. And the interior has its own world. The customers can choose between leather and suede, all top of the line, with different colors. And all the interior work is done in-house, mostly with hand. The car you just seen being built is the Lamborghini Revuelto, the sixth generation of V12 Lambos. The Aventador that was the last generation had less than 800 brake horsepower and its price started around $500,000. But even though the Revuelto is a hybrid, it still produces 1,000 horsepower, and that's about 200 more than the Aventador, so it has to be a little bit more expensive. It's not a little bit more expensive, it's damn near double. The Lamborghini Revuelto's price is gonna start around $890,000, and with different packages, you could easily reach $1 million. is born. The first plug-in hybrid V12 engine.
Kenny Revuelto. From now on.